God bless you. My name is Brother uh, Stephen Tutani. I am from uh, Zimbabwe in Southern Africa. I work at the Voice of God office there. And uh, I'm just going to give you a, a brief outline of what the Lord is doing down in our part of the world. Um, it uh, certainly has been an honor to be a part of this work. But um, really, I, when I was born, my dad had already been working for uh, Voice of God for about eight years. I remember from them early days, him working with the books and translations and distributions, and I, I never knew I was going to be a part of the work, the way the Lord has worked it out. But um, I drew a lot from him because I did see how dedicated he was. Why has he given his life for this cause? And he was very passionate about what he did. Um, I remember in the early days, we still had the office uh, in downtown Harare at the Vanguard House. And before then, Brother Joseph Branham and Brother Billy Paul and Sister Rebecca had come to Zimbabwe in 1985 um, to, to spearhead the work of the Voice of God and set up the office there. Back then, the material was really scarce. There was not as many books and, 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 and tapes going around. Uh, but people still knew God sent a prophet and believed him, but there was very little material circulating. So uh, it was very uh, uh, precious. And I remember my dad telling me stories where if, uh, you know, say somebody backslides and he's no longer serving the Lord. The brothers would team up and go to his house and be like, so, you know, you've asked him and you've really decided you're no longer serving the Lord. And when they confirmed that was the case, the next question would be, where are the books? Where did you put the books? And they would get the books and take them with because it was so precious and they wanted to use them. And if I had a book, very few times brothers would not be willing to give his book to the other brother because he knew it was not going to come back and go to the next and the next. So they would bring um, large notebooks and copy out the spoken word book, word for word, what Brother Branham said, and then walk away with your handwritten copy of the book because there was the material was just not in, in good supply until um, Voice of God came in and really set up an organized, well uh, uh, orchestrated method of getting, you know, the, the message is out. So I remember walking in right down at the landing of the building downtown where everybody went in. This is a big building where lots of different offices and businesses operated from. But that whole floor and landing area where everybody who had to go into the building went through was packed, almost ceiling high, with boxes and cartons of books and spoken word books. We had just outgrown the place. That's, that's just what it was. And uh, so after a few years, um, some of you might already know the testimony, but Brother Joseph felt we needed a larger place to operate from. And, and uh, there was a great united effort from all the churches in, in Zimbabwe were in the message. And it was really neat because, you know, we all have our differences, but we agreed that there's one thing that brings us together, and that's this message. We all know God sent a prophet. We all respect and believe this word. So if there's one thing that we, we can unite around is, is, is this, and that's all Voice of God is, is Brother Branham's ministry. You know, and, and so everybody got together and uh, said, no, we will not let Brother Joseph build a building for us. We've received books and tapes uh, for free for the last 20 years. These are the pastors and ministers in Zimbabwe who said this. And uh, it's our time to give back. So they all got together and, and were able to uh, build uh, the Zimbabwe Voice of God office, which I hear is the second largest VJ office in the world to the one here in, in Jeffersonville. 
from the most unlikely places to Zimbabwe when our economy was at its worst. It really then, the work exploded from there. Translation work is one of the major functions of the voice of God. And Brother Joseph Branham, we remember that that's one of his heaviest burden upon his heart. Translations into foreign languages. And the proper commit they felt together with the pastors here in Zimbabwe, we needed to have a facility that will make sure that that burden that Brother Joseph has of translations in foreign languages is taken care of. 